you know, I didn't really talk about it much, but I just think the season's looking really good. I, I just want to kind of give a bit of highlight to the season and hopefully with my copium kind of see what they're going to do, right? So I have Pride One open to kind of show the, the metas that we've had and how Jack was probably going to be meta or just like one of the meta units, right? One of the like really uh, power creep, quote unquote units. But I want to start by saying design wise, my favorite season by far, right? Um, these three all look good. I think Jack looks the best and, and something about him, just the math teacher vibe that he's got is amazing. Charlotte's too. Like, uh, hold on. This this little thing at the end looks great. I think they, I think it's actually like that. I don't know what it is. I just really, really like their designs. I just want to like go over them. And like skills, she actually looks like she's going to be really good. Like, I mean, really good. Giving a counter, animations on point. I think hers and Jack's look like 10 out of 10s. I really do believe that this is like almost a step above for some components. Like Fuegoleon's intro to me is one of the best. Charlotte's intro is probably the best next to Jack's. And his skill too does look pretty nice. I like the fire. I just, I want to say animations wise, I need to give him credit. I actually think this season looks really good. Character uh, choices are nice. I don't know about Fuego though. It's just the design for that um, skin isn't the best, but animations are decent. Now, Jack by far, bro, I don't know what it is, but him just holding those triangles, this animation, him just like being like lazy and the lines are like uh, those lines that we see, like, bro, in a sec, these, like, oh, br it's so nice. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm glazing right now. I don't care, but it's nice. And then you got to consider they're releasing three of these, right? Three pretty good units. It does seem he's going to be more of a self buffer unit. He seems to be more of a debuffer and she's going to be an amazing AOE support. Um, except for that, we got a new game mode, guys. Like, hello, we got a new game mode. I don't know what it is, but I'm really excited about it. I should probably put this into Yandex. I wonder what it says. Like, uh, this is me just rambling on because I'm genuinely excited. And if you don't want to watch, don't watch. I just felt like this is one of those videos that I'm feeling positive about this game right now. So I'm going to make a video on it. So it seems like there's going to be one specific guardian. Um, so you have you could fight three times a day. And there's 15 floors. It's only out for two weeks. So sure. Hopefully there are, there's good rewards. It seems like this is going to be rewards. There's rewards for every stage. Um, and there's, okay, 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 that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, I just find it really nice. Besides that, it seems like we're getting everything. We're getting also the guild versus guild, which season two did not have. We're getting a new game mode. Two units I really like. Fuego, his skin itself is, it's shit. Animations are nice, right? Um, we're also getting a 100th anniversary free, two free multis from login, bro. Like, come on, that's so nice. Then it seems like there's actually gonna be good stuff, plus a coupon. So um, probably up to three free multis almost. For fucking logging in and just opening the game. Like, it's so good. And then also DICE events coming back. My favorite event. I think I posted it. It's this event. I know not everyone's going to remember it. But this golden event, bro. It's coming back. And it gives... Every time you, like, go through after the ninth time, you get a stamina box, bro. It's so nice. And then Hall of Illusions. Well, same shit. Um, Gordon 2. Not that bad, but not something I really care about. And to me, because I actually buy stuff, there being actual packs, from what it seems, to me is nice. And it seems they might actually start um, implementing paid crystals, actually. And, bro, best thing ever, making it so that attacking is harder. I think that for um, KR, we're in a good spot to where attacking is in the perfect place for me. I'm having fun, but it's not too easy. Sometimes I do find myself losing. There is that extra RNG that I do have. But I'm genuinely enjoying it. I feel like it's being more diverse. And that does lead me to my next point. Um, the units themselves, right? If we go in terms of meta, um, I talked about this a bit in my Don't Fumble video. But in terms of meta, it started off with Blue. It started off with William, Yami, um, Lotus, and Mars. That was the meta. You can make that team and then GG, right? It started off with that. And then we got two amazing green DPSs, Lich and Raya. So we already see a combo, went from blue to green, and then, oh shit, Noel's out, red. I think that um, this is kind of apparent that like they're, they're going in this color order, right? And 
then Julius was the next meta, quote unquote, the next person that could be very viable. Now, why I believe it's staying in this order also is because Vanessa came out two weeks before Julius and she was shit, like genuinely dog shit because you can't, like logically when you're in hindsight, it seems like they can't really release someone who is going to be able to color counter and just be better than Julius. Two weeks before the hypest unit to date that came out comes out, right? So it makes sense why she was kind of nerfed. So Julius comes out and now we've got the GOAT. We've got the GOAT, the best unit in the game. My favorite, Jack the Ripper, bro. Like, he's green. So he genuinely might be going in this order. Blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, right? He would be the next green. And also green is lacking right now. There's no good green unit. There's two good blue DPSs. Almost three. You could argue three. And there's two good red DPSs. You're not... Like, Lich is... You're using Lich almost as a tank to tank attacks on attack instead of anything else. Raya's doo-doo now. Vanessa, bro, don't... He, he came out... Sorry, they both came out month one. She was month three. She's A, they're S. She's the same as Fuego. Like, I do go, I do believe Pride Win is 100% correct by this. I could even put her in B, and I, I would say that makes sense. But we need a green and i'm really excited that it's probably going to be jack because bro like this intro low quality but look at how pretty it is and i don't know what it is i just uh, this to me too i i'm just like i'm glazing i know but like they all look great this intro too i think this one uh looks really good the way they're using the red and the yellow i like and then chapter six bro we i don't did i show it i don't think i showed it fuck am i on my okay um i don't think uh let me let me see I'll, I'll try to find it but it's gonna be a bit hard just i do want to try to find it let me okay they did post it so vettel his art was shown right we've checked it in the leaks before but his art was shown where is it hello yes so to me it does seem this guarantees that vettel is um coming as a unit because no bosses to date to date right have full arts in terms of the mars boss fight that Mars boss fight uh, was a kind of cut in that I could try to find, but let me let me see if I can find it. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard, but actually no, I think I, I think I got it. Um, monster, yeah. So in terms of monster, how they look instead of that is like this. If I could, oh, oh, like this, right? So Vettel's is a full art. We don't have this Mars's full art at all. I really do believe he's going to be in the next unit. And also the way that they showed this, like Vettel, Third Eye, and then go to the unit. Dimension slash Yami. If we get both of these, I'm I'm in the moon, bro. Like, give me both of these and, ah, bro, Black Clover's peak again. That, that's all I'm going to say. Like, this is going to be the best season by far. Season two um, was pretty shit, right? We had the power creep, but like disgusting power creep, right? Then the only units they released were Kyoto Kohono. No one cared about them. Season 3, horrible seasonal units. Charmy is good, but Kohono, same shit, bro. Right? I hated it. Asta was bad. Asta, come on. First SSR Asta, and he's bad. Second, sorry, second. My bad, my bad. But we don't even have an, S like an SSR Asta that isn't a seasonal, right? Which kind of sucks, but... Vanessa was bad. Charmy was good, but Kohono was like the same unit. And then Asta was just not it, right? I just, I didn't like him. Now this season, you've got some of my favorite units seemingly like animations wise, amazing. If they make these units bad, I'm going to be so sad. But this is their chance to start diversifying the meta because you put Jack in, he's a green unit, right? Then after that, Fuego could be good, but I see him, he might be good in... um baby in pve we'll have to see how it plays out but charlotte looking good jack could be good uh depends on that buff that he gives himself i just like i'm really excited i love how they look love the animations i'm feeling excited and they have this bro if we get the spare vettel and dimension slash yami i'm there like i'm there i'm there i just really think that it's a great time to be a black clover mobile player these are I'm sorry, no, no one can hit on them. Kubuki was hating on it, but this is a really good choice. I think that it's the last one they could do at the moment because if we go down um, for Clover Academy, they don't got many left. They got Luck, 
Magna, Kono, which they're not doing since she probably she just came out. I don't see it. You know, has gone with the win. I am sorry. They're not doing soul. They're not doing the gay guy. Real, probably. By the way, I love my gay boys, right? But nah, uh, real, real, probably. I I could see the next one they do be like real, you know, and uh, yes, real, and you know, that's it. I I don't know. I I would like the luck, but. Overall, pretty good choices. I do wish that uh, Real was instead of Fuego because I don't even know. Actually, none of them. But Real would have had really nice animations. I like Real's like style. I just don't see them doing like Kohono at the moment. Charmy, they don't. We don't even see it, right? Uh, Leopold would have been nice, but I don't see Leopold getting one before Fuego. I just think that he was kind of done dirty with uh, the skin itself. Very bland. But I'm very excited, guys. Like. There's everything, and like why I'm saying this kind of stemmed from this tweet itself. Let me find it. Oh, wait, I'm in media. Huh, whoops. Uh, where was it? I swear I tweeted about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it seemed to be the best season, right? We got the arena blind spot, which makes it so that arena is tougher. Uh, we got new game mode, right? Which is amazing. Chapter 6, 100th anniversary. Interesting seasonal skins, which obviously, my opinion, but. I do agree with that. I, pfft, wow, I'm talking way too quick. I'm trying to get out of this, but I do agree that uh, blind spot should be everywhere. But unlucky. Um, overall, very excited. Hundred hundred anniversary could end up being amazing. We'll have to see. But bro, I'm just really excited for these units, and I hope you guys are too because I think that this is gonna be a nice season. Tomorrow they come out at 11 p.m., which kind of sucks. Kind of ruins my hype a bit. I wish it wasn't like that, but oh well, right? Oh well, I can't really say anything else. So. Except for that, I'm done. See you guys in the next one. Peace.